Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play of The Outer Worlds. We're at a Jello Alert level zero and a Tally Alert level zero. They're both asleep. One's on my lap. Guess which one? All right, let's take our girl here for some drinking. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. All right. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I'm um, you know a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Litter collected. Reminder, please dispose of all empty bottles in the appropriate waste receptacle, as outlined by Ordinance P51 of the Board Certified Subboard of Health. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just with June Lei. I don't know what to do about us. Start by telling me why your message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What did she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? What's this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. All right, same as before. Maybe you should quit while you're headed and standing. Persuade 25, but let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but oh, I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Don't stop there, Your Honor. Oh, that's mean. No wonder you're scared. There's an easy way to get answered to all those questions. No wonder you're scared. Well, I've never, I never done this before. Never really tried to pursue someone. I'm, I'm all flailing limbs and yelling like a little one thrown in the sea who don't know how to swim. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Then you go your separate ways. We have that in common, you know. I'm not interested in physical affection either. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is, no matter their quirks. Huh. I'd never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on, then. We all do. Oh, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So are you going to ask her out? 
Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Oh my God, yes. You're still unsure? Yes. Just ask her. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Warning. Low battery. Unit is engaging reserve pack. While using the reserve pack, unit may periodically enter a rest cycle. If unit does not wake, consult manual 81-XC5. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Oh, that is so sweet. Is there going to be another part of the mission? Hold on. Take 40, but come on, honey. Let's get back to the ship. We're going to get you up there. Get you in bed. Although I... Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific designated caregiver's service request. Please repeat the order. Yeah, you are... Okay, she's kind of sweet. All right, we're almost back there. Let's get. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. No, it's not. Shut up. Your crate, your cargo's worth nothing. Let's just keep going. I guess we could have just teleported over. I didn't think about that. That's my bad. Shall we go talk to her? Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Uh, we'll have to deal with that in a minute. Let's talk to Probardi. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Dreen Lee does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Good for her. That makes me really happy. Are we done with that one? Oh, we are. Fantastic. What's the next quest we want to do? Um, weapons from the void. We can go look into that. Solution vital... Worst contact in the empty mint. So let's do weapons from the void. Wait, salvager in the sky. Okay, let's do weapons from the void first, and then we'll do salvage from the sky. All right, back out we go. Please avoid damaging yourself or us. The fabulous Fraser Brothers of Hammersmith Thunder. Well, I'm really glad that it does point out where you need to go. Oh, we have to go back to Gladys, really? Ugh. Gladys is annoying. Except maybe she can give me some cookies. I'll take some cookies. Oh, and I got rid of most of my um, extra stuff while we were down, so you didn't have to worry about it. Hey, Gladys. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. 
Let me see what you got for sale. Oh, I see we got to buy I it. I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. Acquire science review of Festus Mining Archive on Hawthorne's Terminal. I'm still not getting where... Okay, so back at the terminal for Gladys. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. A science weapon. What the hell is I've got a, a lovely little weapon? throw pillow. I must be missing Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Okay, so... I am... There is nothing she has for sale. What is this? I don't need to buy back, do I? No? No, I don't need to buy back. Oh! Maybe that's it. Hold on. Battered Mardet datapad. The old datapad contains instant reports from various Mardet security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust-ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7, 2344, responded to code ID 10 Teeth Lost Hope. Vera asked us to bounce ba some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got in a scuffle with one of the engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed a rung leech back down to bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new Hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sunita. October 25th, 2344. Had another run with the rung leech from the Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back base without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off the docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk to him. Had to break off when our shift ended. All heads got to come out eventually. Okay, so that's where we need to go. We... Wait a minute. 28 meters, so go upstairs. There we go. Alright. Oh, I guess nothing in here, though. Wait, I guess... <laughs> I guess we'll take this all. This is not stealing, though. That's kind of funny. Um, so we got everything extra that I'll never use. So obviously this is not the right way to go. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. Okay, oh, back bays. I see. Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening to them. I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Oh, dude, I am so sorry. But we will take your ammo because I evidently steal things like that. I should do some upgrades on them, though. Oh, no. Come on, give it to me. 18 meters that way. I am going the total wrong direction. But that's okay, too. Whoa. I hear sounds. Groundbreaker weapon. Captain's terminal. Why is there so much stuff? Oh, but I will take these as well, because... No one knows I'm here. Oh, medical bay key card. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a cartridge somewhere for me to use as a hidden thing? Nope. Gosh, that's clever. This is gonna suck, isn't it? No, and I'm not seeing any key cards. They're gonna kill me. Oh shit, we're going in a restricted area, folks. Ah, oh, shit. Am I- wait, I do, it doesn't say I'm in a restricted area, actually. Wait a minute. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? 
Oh my god, Pavardi, just be quiet. Alright, the worst contact. We must be in here. Oh, fantastic. Let's do it. For the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. She's worried about you a lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've gotta do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Hey, honey. You gonna help me out here? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think to board that someone follow you now and you're hiding out? Think? No, I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Oh, so you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Ellie asked me to help you out, so that's what I plan on doing. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to Udon for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Alrighty, I think we actually need to wrap it up here, folks, for past our time. Until next time, take care.